Women make up nearly half of the college-educated workforce in the United States, but hold only a quarter of jobs in STEM. The If Then initiative from the Lida Hill Philanthropies Organization is working to change that. In today's Bloomberg Equality, our conversation about the bottom line impact of diversity, our own Viviana Hurtado sat down with Lida Hill Philanthropies President and CEO Nicole Small and Spotify data scientist and If Then ambassador Kay Savage to talk about the importance of helping girls see the opportunity in STEM. One of the things we don't talk enough about is the fact that we have an imagery issue. So little girls everywhere are not seeing people that look like them doing all of the amazing jobs that are out there. And so that's what the If Then initiative is about. We are selecting uh, 125 women ambassadors that are going to be role models for our kids everywhere. Not just little girls, but little boys as well. We've got CEOs of gaming companies. We've got data scientists from Spotify. This is one of our amazing ambassadors. And we have cancer biologists. So we have something for everybody. They range from 18 to mid 60s mid career early career late career they're amazing and we're partnering with all sorts of people to tell their stories so Nicole you just mentioned ambassadors Kay mm -hmm. we're looking at you tell us a little bit about how it is that you became a data scientist at Spotify yeah so I'm actually fortunate enough that both my mother and my older sister are engineers from the University of Michigan so you didn't have an imagery problem I didn't I had a phone call away for a support system I had uh, an easy half hour drive back home if I needed help if I had a problem I knew where to go to that doesn't happen everywhere so one of the things that was really interesting to read about Nicole is when it comes to if then it is really doing an outreach to a broad diversity of women, also educating young boys. Talk to us a little bit about outreach, particularly when it comes to outreach of young girls who may be from other socioeconomic and educational backgrounds, making sure that they get a leg up and a shot at STEM. Absolutely. Well, it's just the age old, if you can't see it, you can't be it, right? So we need to make sure that kids everywhere see the opportunities. And so we are partnering with all sorts of groups, including Teach for America, Girls Scouts. Um, we launched uh, about eight weeks ago um, a show called Mission Unstoppable, which runs on CBS on Saturday mornings um, for every kid to be able to have an opportunity to see all these amazing careers. And it's just a really fun show. We've got a YouTube show called Goldie Blocks Fast Forward Girls that's running. Um, and as I said, we're working with all those other partners. We also are doing sort of unexpected things. So we're trying to meet kids where they are. So not just in the classroom, but as we know, kids spend a lot of their time on social media, on digital devices. Devices, right? They spend all their time on their phones and they um, that's where they are. So we're trying to partner with people to meet them there. Just out of curiosity though, tell us about any initiatives, any opportunities for STEAM. So adding arts into science, tech, Absolutely. engineering, and mathematics. We actually, and, I'm, and I'm thinking particularly because of, for example, the way AI is developing. So there's a lot of questions around ethics, for example, data privacy. Tell us about any of that future, what it looks like for If Then. Well, absolutely. So um, lots of people call it STEM. Some people call it STEAM. We're happy. We're open to all of the above, right? Art, architecture, all those things employ, you know, pretty much every creative field these days, right? Fashion. We worked with Project Runway last year and sponsored an episode, which was the highest rated episode of the year because the connection between gaming and design, you need STEM for all of those things. So we, you can call it STEAM. You can call it STEM. We're happy. We just want girls excited about pursuing any of those careers. So. Um, um, yeah, as we look forward, right, there's a lot of conversations about AI, obviously in the tech world. As um, Kay was saying, it's really, really important that we bring every perspective to the table, whether it's climate change or whether it's cancer, right? We've got a lot of problems in our world right now, and it's really important that we bring every mind to the table. What has been the reception of the business community? Oh, it's been incredible. I think that um, it's been so positive because we are so, f I think, A, because we're doing things a little bit differently. There's oh, There are so many groups doing amazing work to inspire girls to get interest, interested in STEM. I think because it's a different approach and we're partnering with some really interesting brand partners and we're meeting girls where they are, it's just been such a positive response. And I will say the 125 women role models that we have selected that we're working with are the most amazing, empowering, you know, warm, smart, brilliant women you've ever met. And I think when you meet these women, it completely changes your perspective. Um, we were talking earlier about sort of what your vision of a scientist is, right? When you ask most kids to draw a scientist, they draw someone that looks like Albert Einstein, we're going to change that.